Deep in the forest, the season long awaited by male praying mantises has finally arrived. The moment when they must face their destiny and find a female. But this is no simple task, because if they make even the slightest mistake, they may end up in the jaws of the female. Far larger, heavier, and with an appetite far greater than their own. This male praying mantis has found his chance. It is the first time he tries to join with a female, and most likely, it will also be the last. During this delicate process, the male must remain still on the female, carefully transferring the genetic material that will ensure the next generation. This encounter can last for hours, and sometimes even extend for an entire day, while the male remains exposed to the risks of being so close to a partner far more powerful than himself. It is estimated that nearly 30% of males end up being eaten by the female, but in the end they have already fulfilled their role, and their sacrifice provides her with the energy needed to lay the Uthaka. But pay close attention, because what is about to happen will mark the last day of life for this Asian wasp, also known as Vespa orientalis. This wasp is approaching, unknowingly, a fatal trap. We are standing before the lair of the mythical Black Widow, a dark and hidden corner of the forest, where few creatures dare to venture inside. Spiders seem to be waiting, it appeared instantly, but now it must move with caution because a single touch from the wasp's stinger could mean the end for her. Wait, I just released my very first collectible insect figures and honestly, they look incredible. Click the link in the description to check them out. I really think you're gonna love them. I've put a lot of work into bringing you a little piece of the world of insect experience. The Black Widow seems to know exactly how to handle its prey, first wrapping its legs with silk and then its wings to prevent any attempt to escape. Each strand becomes another chain that secures its victory. The web of this spider is no ordinary one. It is made of proteins that produce strong and sticky fibers, able to hold almost any creature. Within the vast web of the Black Widow, we can find countless traces of the creatures it has captured over time small remnants that tell the silent story of its hunt. Empty shells of insects that once had life now remain trapped in the web. The spider has cut the threads that held the wasp and now drags it into the depths of its lair. The venom of this spider often raises many questions and it is commonly mistaken for Latrodectus mactans, the well-known American black widow. However, it belongs to another species, known as Latrodectus lilianae, whose venom, while not a major threat to humans, is highly effective against arthropods and other small animals, quickly paralyzing them to secure the capture. The spider makes its final preparations before the venom begins to take effect, and then simply stops, and waits patiently. If we try to locate these spiders, it won't be an easy task, since they appear in the most unexpected places. One example is this cow skull I found on the ground, a shelter that seems perfect for a predator with these traits. Sometimes in the strangest places, I have found the most spectacular creatures hidden in corners that at first glance might seem empty. By carefully examining this cow skull, I discovered that it was not only the perfect refuge for a spider, but also a shared home for other small forms of life that had made it their dwelling. Latrodectus lilianae does not have the famous red marking of its American relative, but builds strong webs that she uses both to hunt and to protect her egg sacs. There, the female remains watchful until her young dissolve the silk with their own saliva from within and after several days finally emerge outside.